Happy Thursday and happy August 1st, 2024. What that means is it is almost football time in Tennessee. We're about 30 days away from the start of football season. Frank Rock and the House of Orange are excited to bring you some football videos, some football coverage, some football talk along the way. Let's rock and roll. But before we talk about 2024 and the class of 2025, there's potential big news on the horizon for Tennessee Volunteers and the 2026 class. Saturday night, Faison Brandon, 24-7 sports number one prospect in the country. On three has Faison Brandon as the number 11 overall. ESPN has him as number 32 and Rivals.com has him uh, number 134. That's a pretty big discrepancy from uh, 1 to 134. But um, we'll go with what 24-7 says in this one. Number one prospect in the country, Faison Brandon, Saturday night announces his choice. Tennessee, Alabama, that's believed to be who it's between. LSU's in there as well. The good guys, the Vols, Faison Brandon was in Knoxville this past weekend. He hasn't taken any visits since. He's taken more visits to Knoxville than anyone. Uh, from what I gather and know, he has a pretty good relationship with Hendon Hooker. He's from the Greensboro, North Carolina area. Saturday night, when Faison Brandon makes his decision, I feel very, very confident he will be announcing for Tennessee. Now, being over a year away from signing date, is Tennessee able to hold on to him and sustain that? We'll wait and see. But for the meantime, Based on Brandon announces Saturday night, Tennessee is about to get good news in that respect, based on everything that I'm reading. And then today, Carson Sneed, three out of four sites have him as a four star tight end out of Tennessee. He is uh, out of Nashville, Donaldson Christian Academy. According to the rankings, on three has him 175 overall on a four star, 24 7 has him as a three star, ESPN four star 199, rivals.com four star 75 in the land. He's set to make his decision on Monday. And uh, guess who he visited last? He just came off of visit Tennessee. His brother Dayton Sneed is a wide receiver for Tennessee. You can connect the dots and put this all together. I think Tennessee is about to get big news for 2026. Face on Brandon, they get another elite quarterback in the fold. Carson Sneed, they get another nice to me elite level tight in in the fold. Alec Ablin, tough first year recruiting. There was an article on Volquest.com today. I'm not going, but he says. Uh, Pretty much, I think he had a good talk with God. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's seriously, I think, what it boiled down to it. And uh, said something about some prayer. I've not read it, but I saw the title, some of the transcript on it. A little bit of a tough year recruiting last year with some misses. Jaden Riddell, uh, of course, echoes at the last minute, which based on everything I read, I don't think Tennessee was heartbroken by that one. But then you get to the portal. You got Holden Stays. You got the tight end uh, from Alabama coming into the fold. Now you look into the current cycle. You've got Dasan Brain. You've got Jack Van Dorselaer. You're getting ready to, based on what I think, if you connect the dots again and you look at it based on all of it, you're getting ready to add another big time tied in for 2026 and Carson C. That's not even mentioning they added Cole Harrison out of California late in the cycle for 2024. All these positions, all these coaches, man, some of these coaches that got kind of a bad rap last year for recruiting because they missed on some, you look at what they're doing a year later. Number one, and somebody mentioned it in one of my chats, that recruiting cloud, that cloud that was over the program, it's gone. Some of these guys, too, they are more thorough. I feel identifying the guys that 
mess with this program. It's about relationships. It's about identifying who fits, who does not. They're identifying guys who fit with them. This program is on the up. Things are happening. There's excitement around the team for this year. There's excitement around the team for years to come. You add Faison Brandon in the fold. You have four levels of elite quarterbacks based on what I'm seeing. Nico Iamaliava, currently in the fold two years. He's your guy. Jake Merklinger, big things have been said about him. A lot of good things have been said about him. George McIntyre comes in next year. Faison Brandon makes it official on Saturday night. He's in the fold. That's what was big with David Sanders last weekend. David Sanders visited Knoxville. You had potentially four quarterbacks recruiting them to protect them. What's Is Nebraska and Ohio State doing that? No, they're not. Do they have good quarterbacks? Yes. Do they have elite quarterbacks on their campus? Yes, according to the rankings they do. Do they have four of them? Nope. Absolutely not. Tennessee's rolling right now. They're coaching staff. They're recruiting excellent right now. What a difference a year makes. And they they did good last year. But the misses was what people were stuck on so much. Tennessee, and you know, that's not even me mentioning one Gaston announces this weekend offensive line out of Georgia, teammate of Travis Smith Jr. From what I've read, nobody knows where he's going. Tennessee has a real shot. Will they get him? I, I, I have to think Georgia's the favorite. I have to think Georgia's the favorite, but it, it seems to be Georgia, Tennessee, Oregon. Based on the rating, Tennessee is a real threat in this one. Be huge if they get him. Two weeks from Saturday, David Sanders Jr. makes his announcement. There's still two weeks to go in that recruitment. To me, it's a surprise if he does not announce for Tennessee. And then uh, to me, and I saw some of the VolQuest mods say this, and I agree with this. Some people asked what one position or positions do they need to hit well if, when they add Sanders, and uh, I think it was Austin Price said linebacker. I totally agree with that. Christian Gass is the only linebacker, and he could potentially be an end that's in the fold. Jaden Prelati committed to USC after this circus of a recruitment with him flirting around with Tennessee, and then all of a sudden he takes a visit to USC and he's gone. Uh, but Tennessee needs to get in on some linebackers. You need to continue to build that linebacker depth for next year. I mean, you could go to the portal for sure, but you still have to have that base through your high school ranks. I don't think there's any ifs, ands, or buts about that one. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like the content, you share it out. If you have not already, uh, and you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel for notifications. Monday night, 7 o'clock. That's going to be our night. 7 o'clock Monday night. We'll go live on here. There's three membership options. If you want to check that out, if you want the join button, it'll give you the tiers for that. There's also the uh, House of Orange Patreon as well. If you just want to contribute to the channel each month as well, and that's greatly appreciated. Frank Rock, House of Orange Sports Channel. Have a great rest of your evening, and go Vols. <laughs>